2020 has been a crazy year already with a lot happening around us. We've seen many cancellations of events like the Olympics, and other large events like E3 and Minecraft Festival that left many people disappointed. With Sony and Microsoft still planning to release their newest consoles this summer, everyone is wondering what Nintendo will be doing. They have kept us in the dark for quite a while now, with little bits here and there, but I think it's finally time to speculate on their plans during this time of uncertainty. A lot of huge Nintendo fans might be asking, what is Nintendo's plan of action right now? Honestly, it's hard to give a definite answer. A problem that many people are seeing is the Nintendo gaming lineup, or lack of for that matter. For the most part, we are seeing a few games releasing at the end of May, which are Xenoblade Definitive Edition, Ninjala, and Minecraft Dungeons. Here we only see Ninjala as a new game, while Xenoblade is a remaster with extra content, and Minecraft Dungeon, which will be released on multiple consoles. The lack of first-party games from Nintendo itself has been a little strange to fans who are dying for new games, especially at this time. Now of course, they could go play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, since it has a ton of replay value and is the best-selling game on the Switch to this day. And keep in mind this is a port, but due to the Wii U sales being so low, and this being a Mario Kart game, which always sells well, it's no surprise that it is the top seller. But there's always people who want fresh content and new games to play. Thankfully, Nintendo has given themselves a little more time by releasing the last Mario Maker 2 update, as well as an Animal Crossing update. The fans of Mario Maker 2 received a bunch of new features that they had been asking for since the original. However, they were left with some disappointment, as there was still tons more that could have been added. The feelings are much different for Animal Crossing seeing as they were able to see some characters return from previous games, as well as get a few more things to update their island. But they were also happy to know that there were still many more updates to come. Despite all these updates to games, there are still people that want more, so let's get into that. Now I'm sure you all remember that rumor going around about a Nintendo Direct that was scheduled to be happening at the end of March. Fans couldn't have been happier to get news about dates on games like Breath of the Wild, or even just a little more information about the game, or other games they had been looking forward to. To our surprise, the Direct was only a Direct Mini, and still left a lot of questions unanswered, for many including myself. It got me thinking, is Nintendo hiding something from us? I believe that the answer is yes. We all found it a little strange that Nintendo hadn't done a Direct in such a long time, and it was getting to the point where people were making rumors about it having a new date almost every week. As I said before, we did get it direct, but it was not what anyone had expected. It felt like there was so much more being hidden. I believe this direct was nothing but a cover for what Nintendo had been working on in the background. We've also been hearing rumors of remasters for Mario games since it's Mario's 35th anniversary. No one is sure if this is 100% true, but since there are several sources bringing us this information, with some being quite credible, I find it highly unlikely that it is fake. But I'm not quite sure if that's it for what we are to be expecting. The cancellation of E3 could be the perfect opportunity for Nintendo to come out with a lot of new games and content. It's almost needed to be able to compete with the Xbox and PlayStation releases. My speculations lead me to believe that if we are to get the Mario remasters, it is the perfect time to release the announcements about it. A lot of people are expecting a new Paper Mario game as well. I also think this would be the perfect time to release some new information about Breath of the Wild, depending on their development and if it has been delayed by COVID. As well as all these, we may also see a new 3 or 2D Mario game. And I know people may hate me for saying this, but it would be cool to see some Mario Bros. remasters, possibly up to the Wii version since New Super Mario Bros. U has already been put on the Switch as a port. It would be nice to see games like Mario Bros. 3 and World released in HD. Now of course, there are many other games that could be released, but these seem to be the biggest of this year. We will also probably see the holiday release for this year, if we are even to get one due to the circumstances. Nintendo has left us a subtle clue that there will be an E3 Direct in June like there usually is. The clue is the Arms Smash Bros. Fighter release date, which is in fact June. 
We would expect Sakurai to do a showcase of some sort, and E3 would be the perfect time to do that presentation. Regardless of what the case may be, Nintendo knows we have their trust and patience. We must give Nintendo the patience and time they need in order to give us the games we love. We have seen cases where games have been rushed before, like Majora's Mask, which was not rushed due to fans, but due to a bet made by the workers at Nintendo. Now don't get me wrong, Majora's Mask is a great game and brought a lot to the Zelda franchise, but could have done so much better and had more content with the proper time. If you look at Breath of the Wild, which took more time than everyone thought, it turned out to be the most praised Zelda game, and it is because Nintendo took the time to give us what we deserved. Even if we don't get much from Nintendo this year, I expect Nintendo will strike back with an iron fist once they can return to normal working conditions. So whatever the next steps may be, the best we can do is be patient and give them time. But hey, this could only be speculation. I don't expect any of this from Nintendo because of our circumstances, but it would be quite cool to get what we want. Anyways, this is my first time scripting a video. So, if you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button, and if you have your own opinions about this topic, please let me know down in the comments below, and tell me if I have missed something as well, because I very well might have. That's all for this video, thanks for watching.